Today in Washington. U.S. President Barack Obama on Wednesday marked his 100th day in office, enjoying the best presidential approval rating at this point in 20 years. The president, who inherited a troubled economy, two wars, and a range of other domestic and international challenges, received a 69% approval rating by a poll conducted on the 21st and the 24th of April by ABC News and The Washington Post. However, the nation's first black president, who ran his campaign on a slogan of change, faces a partisan divide as only 36% of Republicans polled approved of his activities. On Monday, White House spokesperson Robert Gibbs gave the president a B-plus grade, telling reporters, quote, I think there's always room for improvement. First Lady Michelle Obama, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Tuesday helped to unveil a bust of abolitionist Sojourner Truth at the U.S. Capitol, the first black woman to be so honored at the building. Truth, a former slave, was an early crusader for women's rights to vote and for an end to slavery. At a ceremony at the Capitol Visitor Center, Mrs. Obama said, quote, I hope that Sojourner Truth would be proud to see me, a descendant of slaves, serving as the First Lady of the United States of America. The statue will remain on permanent display in the center's main hall, called Emancipation Hall in part because slaves helped build the Capitol. A bipartisan coalition of 25 U.S. Senators on Tuesday introduced legislation giving President Barack Obama unprecedented authority to impose sanctions against foreign firms that export gasoline to Iran. In a statement, Republican Senator John Kyle said, quote, This bill gives the president the express authority to target the Iranian regime's Achilles heel. Democratic Senator Evan Bayh, one of the bill's co-sponsors, said, quote, By empowering the president in this way, we will make it more likely that engagement with the Iranians will succeed, and they will peacefully abandon their nuclear ambitions. While Iran is the world's fourth largest oil producer, a lack of refinery capacity forces the country to import about 40% of its gasoline. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.